are besieged. Okay, so this guy's attacking me in the open fields. Cool. 152, 52, 51, 151. Should be able to hold back the actual melee Corsairs whilst my cavalry takes out their archers. Should be able to do that. The tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. Let's bring our infantry back a bit further. I'll put our cavalry over on this side. Oh, they can shoot us, they can shoot us, they can shoot us, they can shoot us. Run away. Just managed to make it out of range. Corsairs, Corsairs, right. Cavalry, move by. Move past. So we've got 52 archers. We're gonna go, we're gonna hit the big one first. I will just hit this first one. Screw it. It's more or less 52 archers gone. I've already killed their general. And we've already wiped out one full unit of archers. Da, 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 da. And then we'll come and save our militia afterwards. And crash. I lost one man in that charge. Take out these five Corsairs behind us. <laughs> Remove them from the picture. And there we go. Right, turn around and charge. Nice. That was a good one. That was a good charge. So they're now down to about 52, 51, 4, 50, 46. <laughs> so I've lost one, two. I've lost two cavalry so far, that's okay. Looks like I'm about to lose a couple more. Uh, yep, two more. <laughs> Battle seems to be swinging in our favour. From such tidings does victory emerge. We've lost half of our men. Run them down. Why aren't you running them down? Wow, you guys suck. Fine, we'll head back this way. Wow, one very brave Corsair is running out towards us. That'll do. 107 for 360. 
So even though we lost a general the first time we fought them, it's actually that was actually beneficial. We managed to retake our town. So Glory, honor, victory. Back in my possession. My lord, our courage and honor have conquered. Have a taste of my okay, hand. so they got trolls and a troll catapult. That's why they're charging. That's why they're attacking. And over here, right, Pinneth Gellan. Can I recruit? Let's recruit a militia unit there. Over here, we'll retrain ours. Okay. Here we go. So look, we got. <coughs> Haradrim Spearman there. Those guys can only cross over that bit, so that's fine. Uh, can I recruit any... Your orders, my lord. No, I can't recruit any bandits or anything. That's a shame. Yes, my lord. Hmm. Yes, my lord. My lord. Your orders. Let's see if I can get a ceasefire. do you bring us there? Yeah. Okay, so we finally trade rights. Wow. That was pretty good. Hostilities between our two peoples have ceased. So I can send this army south or now. That's going to be pretty good. Or disband it maybe. My lord. So if I send this army to Amondithil, or, or hmm, actually no, 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 yes, no, no, no. Perhaps I should send this army over to Pelagir, give him some troops, and send him on the fleet down south to attack the Harad towns down here. So Vatavia will be the first target, maybe, or maybe Umbar will be the first target. I don't know. Probably Umbar actually, because Umbar is more likely to be able to build a troop to, uh, you know, retake the town. Um, as for my large force, this one can head to Tyr Ethraid over here, and then maybe over to Amon Ithil and work its way across. At the same time, my diplomat can start heading southwards as well. Yes, my lord. Yes. Ah, interesting turn of events. I will not waste words on you. Finish them. Right, 1549 against 2101. Mostly Harajim spearmen, one catapult. So we could probably t we could probably win this one if we just hold our ground as best we can and use all my 31 unit generals to run them down. Plus my 76 squad knights. But I need to send. I might send my 11 Gondor cavalry militia around the back to hit their catapults. Whilst my generals deal all the damage to, well, maybe get my Swan Knights to attack their Southron Lancers, get my other generals to do all the other work. There'll be no escaping us now. We'll see how it goes. Start deployment. So they've got the high ground, unfortunately. Um, right. All my generals over here. And cavalry. Right. So. So that's our first group. Pelagian Marines can fire at will as well. And then we've got our general across the back here. Group three. And then all these guys here will be group two, but then I'll, I'll sort them out in a second. Okay, so. 
Bodyguard, bodyguard. Bodyguard. And then these two bodyguards over this side with this cavalry unit. Okay, you boys. Heading off down there. You guys are heading off that way. And then hopefully we can deal the damage we need. I think I've brought my infantry too far forward. Let's bring them back a bit. Put my put my uh, infantry too far forward from the. Uh oh, at least I'm drawing away a lot of their troops. Bring our cavalry up onto the flats over there, and the same over this way. Oh, I thought I was drawing some of their troops away, but apparently I wasn't. I've drawn one of their units away. Southron Warband. Here we go. Right. I don't think they're quite sure what to do. Send this cavalry unit around here. Whilst I put this unit there, and I line this unit up here. It's for these guys. Send two that way, and one this way. My archers are having fun shooting at their Harajim archers. my cavalry here to sort of stop this cavalry unit chasing this militia while it charges into the catapult there. Oh, it's shooting. Yikes. Let's move in. Take care of that, General. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. One of my generals is down to twenty three at the moment. Bit of a shame at the moment. Oh, hello. Pull them over here. Swing my guys around. Cavalry militia head back. And group three. Fall back, run. I didn't realize they were charging down the hill. Go on, damn you. What are you doing? I told you to attack the catapult. Our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. So that's one unit routed. Right up here, General. 
general run. Right, we'll pull our cavalry back down the slope so we can try and aid our um, <coughs> aid our infantry. Okay, so damn it, he's still firing the little son of a gun. and spearman unit behind us. Those guys done. That was an interesting charge. Those guys are routed. So those guys. These guys are routing. Move our men up a bit. So run down every single one of them. Oh, this cavalry militia unit can just sort of hide over there. He's pretty badly injured at the moment. Okay, let's uh, take care of them. Send this general this way to go and help in the chase over there. Come on, run down those five. It's only five of them. Take out the 114. Uh, group three. Shoot that mat, the unit of two there. Uh, who else is left? Those two. This unit is chasing those three. And these guys are chasing over here. So we're at 97% so far. Okay. 
apparently there's a guy nearby over here, so we're going to get our archers. Oh, there he is, one man there. We lost a quarter of our forces. Wow, really? You guys suck. Right, archers, uh, cavalry can take care of him then. my cavalry onto this one got one last unit left one man left there yeah hundred percent our foe is utterly vanquished let all who remember this day remember it that was as pretty tough of our most glorious victory I wonder how many hits the catapult got on me can't see any burn hits there. Lost a few archers there from sh fire. Uh, I'm not seeing any burn victims. I don't think the catapult actually got very many kills on us. 323 lost for 2099, so two of their men escaped. That's fine, we've wiped out one full army. Um, that was one of the two armies that were on the edge of the river. So if the other one attacks, we only have to focus on the one force, which is good. We've only, so that's fine. Uh, ransom rejected, of course, it's too much. Beautiful, we've got a cross swords on the battlefield. To commemorate our victory. And we can begin... Uh, I might actually recruit another unit and then start retraining these guys. Uh, any archers? N oh, I need to send this cavalry. It's only got two men left. Uh, the nearest place is probably going to be Dol Amroth, actually. Yeah, Dol Amroth will be the closest place for our militia cavalry to retrain, so we'll send him over there. It's going to take a couple of turns. And. End turn. Nice, nice little quick go of the turns there. We lost a hundred. Two hundred and fifty one we're losing now per turn. High tax rate, normal tax rate, normal tax rate, normal, high. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. All right, I think I'll give these two archers Your will, my lord. to Care Andros. Yes. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. And one militia to Henneth Anoon. By your command. Your orders, my lord. With honor. Which puts us at plus two two four, further, which is lord. good. That's what we need. Yes, my lord. As you wish. Orders. As you wish. They made any moves over here? They haven't. So although they are moving a large force that way, uh, that's interesting. Perhaps I should just go ahead and try and take Barad Han again. If that army heads off that way. So what I might do, in fact, is put this force into Pelagir. That'll take one more turn. We have marched our limit. So that Pelagir has a nice defence in case this army heads towards Pelagir. Uh, da, da, da. All right, let's leave that general behind, along with some Pelagia Marines and that arch unit. If the enemy finds us here, it won't be to their liking. So that army can only go as far as the bridge, which is good. Actually, we might as well send this arch unit to Tarnos to be retrained, because Tarnos gives us our archers, so... Now we're at minus 527, that's lovely.
Yes, my lord. Um. Where'd that force come from? We stand vigil as the enemy surrounds us. Oh, great. My lord. By your command. No idea where that army just came from. There's another force there. Corsairs. Some typical Haradrim. That's not too bad. Right, let's stop spying on Amonethil. And there we go. Orders. By your command. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes. Making camp here. Your orders. Yes. Much Without of a garrison? Question. Yeah, pretty decent garrison there. You are brave to seek an audience yeah, they don't want to like cease fire. Good. Well. Don't want to give them one, really. I just wanted and to see if it was possible. I shall continue okay, tomorrow. so... Yes. That's going to be quite easy to defeat, but we'll... We head north and attack these guys the first. Lord. How long have I got left? Ah, I have to finish it here, unfortunately, guys. So I'm going to make a quick save. Some good battles there against Mordor and Harad. And, um, yeah, so general plan. I can just withdraw for the moment because I've saved it. General plan is to wipe out this force, wipe out whatever force was there, and then maybe head over to Barad-Han. This army is heading that way for some reason, so... Um, I mean, if I move my spy here, oh, there's a small force there, but that's quite easy to defeat. Any others around? Not really, so I could take Barad Han, maybe move on to Hasyib. But I want to send this force from Pelagir onto the fleet down south to attack um, either Umbar. Well, I don't know about Umbar, actually. It's gaining in its size of garrison, so I might head to Vatavea first. Um, in fact, let's take our fleet over this side and see what the garrison looks like over here. Still just an army of spearmen. That's fine. Um, over on the north we've made peace with Mordor so that's good We, I think we're going to have to try and disband some of these troops and exp and separate them across these provinces I don't think I'm going to be able to send this army south anytime soon, not until I get my economy sorted out so I think that's what we'll probably do we'll probably disband some of these yes, troops put some in maybe west of Gilead maybe send a couple of troops back to Minas Tirith um, in case Mordor decide to go across here and then head south into Minas Tirith and break our, di uh, break our ceasefire and uh, yeah so that's what we're going to be doing uh, thank you very much for watching and I will always see you in the next video